Data handling is a sensitive job, and the number of regulations is increasing. Therefore, data privacy is a top priority for businesses. This video is an overview of the ServiceNow Data Privacy Store application. Some types of personally identifiable information, or PII, might be subject to data privacy regulations. For example, addresses, names, and phone numbers. We can protect that data through classification and anonymization using the Data Privacy Store application. We're logged in as a user with the Data Privacy Admin role. The overview dashboard shows the number of data fields that are not yet classified, the number of data fields already classified into data classes, and jobs scheduled for data anonymization. If you're wondering what classification and anonymization mean, here are definitions. And there's a link in each box to learn more. Classification labels and groups data in your instance. Anonymization transforms data in your instance so that it is unidentifiable. We can navigate to classification or anonymization from the pop-up information screen or go to the corresponding tab. Under classification, we can add classes and classify data. The left column shows existing parent classes and child classes. The classified data area lists the data already classified. Specifically, it shows where each table and column are categorized. If we click New, we see data that has not yet been classified. Under Anonymization, we see two areas, Policies and Jobs. Under Policies, we can view Policies and View Techniques. Under Jobs, we see a list of scheduled jobs and detailed information. To do anything more than view policies, techniques, or jobs, we will need to elevate our role. Proper data classification and anonymization are essential to protect and secure sensitive information. For more information, see our product documentation or knowledge base, or ask a question in the ServiceNow community.